Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and uh, it's time for a vinyl update where I talk about a load of records that have recently made it into my record collection. Uh, this month, um, a lot of stuff, but things that I either uh, have traded with other people or were in some way uh, donated to me by a fan or something like that. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, but but still very cool stuff. Uh, I, I actually did uh, several record trades over the uh, past month or so and, um, you know, gave away some of the records that, that I had in here that uh, weren't as of interest to me as some of the records that I got in exchange. And these aren't even all the records that I ended up uh, getting my trade for, the getting, you know, uh, back. So, you know, there's still some records down here that I haven't, that I will not be talking about in this video because I haven't gotten around to listening to them yet. I just have like a big fat cube of music sitting on the floor, but this is the stuff I have gotten around to. Um, I don't want to forget, oh, let me see. All right, first I want to mention uh, Mr. <laughs> record Guy Omaha. I will, you know, that's, that's his name on Instagram where I will uh, refer you to go check him out because it's not like he's on I mean, there's, it's not like there's anywhere else to follow him on the internet. He's just a really passionate record collector from the uh, Omaha area, and uh, he actually is buddies with the guy who I follow on YouTube, uh, Derek, and um, who, you know, also talks about vinyl quite a bit in uh, his YouTube videos. You know, he has a massive collection. So, of course, you know, these two huge record nerds uh, have, have found one another. Um, so... Let's get into a few records that he sent my way. Uh, he was he was he was generous enough to send this my way. Um, thank you very much. I freaking love this new Freddie Gibbs uh, Mad Lib record. Um, fantastic, very you know like very slick, you know like one of those crinkly crinkly sleeves. I love it. Um, Mad Lib on the back. I love the zebra print continuation on this side of the record. This is also a double LP. It's black vinyl. Uh, the vinyl, the, the pressing seems fantastic. Everything looks like it's in great shape. You know, just a single sleeve, double LP, white sleeve on both. I love the uh, orange, sort of bluish, greenish, sort of aqua blue uh, labeling on the record. Just, you know, decent, nice looking package for this album. Again, uh, thank you for sending this my way, along with uh, this next record over here. I want to make sure I get through uh, all of his records that he sent my way first. Um, I have not opened this yet, but I have already listened to it numerous times because it is my favorite Dell the Funky Homo Sapien record. Uh, I wish my brother George was here. Um, I don't know if he saw in a video that this is my favorite Dell album and that this is uh, one of my favorite hip-hop albums from this era of hip-hop, um, but it, he, he just fucking hit the nail on the head. He was right on the money. Get me this Dell album. Thank you very uh, freaking much. I am very flattered and uh, moved that you know you would send that my way along with what else you have sent me, but uh, this is the last record that I will talk about in this video. Uh, he sent the new Cage record along, Kill the Architect. Um, an artist who I wasn't all too familiar with outside of you know his association with LP and Aesop Rock, and I know Eminem dissed him on his first album, you know, making a joke about how he bought a Cage tape and dubbed over it. Um, beautiful red vinyl. I have heard from fans that this is not his best record, although listening to it, I didn't really mind it. I didn't think it was bad. I mean, honestly, I have no plans on reviewing it. I know this came out last year, and you know, some people did ask me, but I didn't get around to really diving too deep into it. But I will say right now that if you're looking for some very stark, bleak, and uh, dark hip-hop, the dude obviously, very obviously suffers from some emotional problems um, and conveys them in a very, very... Uh, I, I would say disturbed way. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say that the, uh, the, 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 the that there's much that there's nothing much about this record that is catchy. Uh, it's it's definitely a, a slow burner, um, and uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, I think some of the uh, uh, the quality of some of the similes were like a little 
cheap like you know I, I I think the uh some some of the humor at times or some of the uh, dark references were like a little a little too low brow for me uh here and there but it's it was not a bad record at all cage kill the architect all right moving on to some other stuff uh that had gotten traded to me I want to make sure I don't uh I was reaching for that piece of paper. There we go. I want to make sure I don't uh, forget anyone's name. Uh, this one comes from Matt. Matt just sent me this record because he says he had an extra of it. Uh, Goddamn. Godspeed You Black Emperor. My favorite Godspeed record. My favorite Godspeed record. Uh, possibly my favorite post-rock record ever. Um, lift Your Skinny Fists Like Antennas to Heaven. I have always owned this record. Not always. Always. Like, yeah, since I was born, I owned this record on CD. <laughs> and, you know, I'm the kind of person that tends to sort of stick with a certain sort of packaging with a band. Like, yeah, I own this record on CD, so therefore, uh, except for their latest one, I pretty much own every Godspeed record on CD. I, I don't know why I'm that way. Oh no, crashing. I don't know why I'm that way, but now I have this on vinyl, thanks to the generosity of Matt, thank you very much for uh, sending that my way. Like I said, he said he said he had an extra copy, and uh, didn't want it no more. Well, let's see. Uh, James, okay, James, James. I sent James a few records, and he sent me a few records back. He was dying to get this Danny Brown seven inch that I had, so you know he showed me some of the stuff that he had willing to trade, and I said, sure. You know what? Send me this. Cure. Kiss me. Really nice. 80s rock, new wave, pop rock, goth rock record. Um, this is definitely, I mean, I would say pretty far into the point where they are past the very tortured, bleak sounds and stripped back sounds and noisier sounds of their earlier records. This record is so much more accessible. The, the production is pretty decked out too with lots of horns on it um, and very strong melodies. And uh, it's, it's still a very good album. It's a double LP, look at that creepy eyeball. And, uh, you know, two colored sleeves that come with this thing. I'm still actually in the middle of listening to it. So, you know, I'm not going to show you the records right here. But still, it's a very great album from The Cure. And I think it displays, you know, how great Robert Smith was at not only writing incredibly dark music, but writing, you know, sweet, accessible, melodic music as well, but also lyrically sort of had a dark edge. I mean, the dude was, the dude is, you know, um, a hero in that style. All right. I also got traded. Slam! Da 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 da! I let the boys be boys. <laughs> nice twelve inch from Onyx there. Um, Who, if if you have even the slightest smidge of respect for women, you'll be horribly offended by the B side of this record. Just saying, just saying. But still, classic '90s boom bop sing, boom bop boom bap single from Onyx. Slam. I got to have it. Um, bought this one from the band online because, I mean, I I, uh, I always come back to this record. I always come back to this record. I, I find myself listening to this record numerous times. Uh, I found myself listening to it numerous times throughout last year. This routine is hell. Hell. Bought it from the band. Went on band camp. <laughs> bought that shit. And um, this, I believe, is the... I, I think they did a few pressings of it, and this pressing is uh, a blue. It's a blue. Hmm. It's a nice. It's a nice, it's a blue. And uh, it's a great sound impressing. pressing. Really nice condition. Um, the record itself... Not the record, but the, um, uh, the sleeve itself got a little beat up in the mail, but, you know, whatever. That's, the, the, that's not the band's fault. It's all the... Uh, it's all the postal service's fault. But um, I do like sort of what they got going on here with this uh, decorative sleeve that comes with the record. Sort of all these pictures, what the band looks like. They were taking photographs on tour. It was very cleanly placed into this uh, grid. And um, I don't know if this is something that uh, is unique to my record. Maybe they do it with every record. But they actually put a photo in the record itself and uh, it's it's like of uh, I think one of the band members or somebody like you know um, <laughs> doing a cannonball into a lake cannonball! so you know there you go that's 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 what that is photo coming in the records fantastic 
All right, uh, next. The new Silvermount Zion EP. It's here! It's here! I love this band's latest full-length album, Fuck Off, Get Free, My Dog Is Barking. I have no clue why, but we're just gonna run with it. So, right here, Beautiful X, uh, I believe a song on each side of this thing. You gotta run it at 45 RPM. And this EP is uh, <laughs> surprisingly electronic. Um, the band goes down an electronic direction on this thing. And uh, I'm not going to say that every fan is going to take to it well, but it is um, it is interesting. It is interesting. I'm going to I'm not going to say it's not interesting. All right. And uh, let's keep going. You know, I bet Jeremy's here. I bet that's why the dogs are barking. All right, let's keep going. Jeremy edits the videos sometimes. You know, like on the weekends. Um, he's going to edit this one, although we don't really edit, but you know what I mean. Um, next, Portis Head, Dummy. Classic trip hop record. Great boom bap beats on this thing. Fantastic hip hop influenced beats on this record. Moody bass lines and synths. Um, and beautiful, wonderful lead vocals and songwriting. Great freaking record. Solid song for song. If you want to listen to Portis Head, listen to this record. Okay? I mean, you're not going to be disappointed by this record. This is a beautiful freaking record. It does sound a little bit dated but only because of the production styles, but it is a wonderful album. Okay, Portishead, Dummy. Um, loving the pictures. Come on the inner sleeve. There's really nice packaging. I love that, you know, we're getting the liner notes in here and everything. Just nice, just nice. All right, another few records that I traded. Let's go Andrew Jackson Jihad, Can't Maintain. Love this album. If you're looking for folk punk with strong satirical lyrics and a really just snide, nasty, like I hate the freaking world vocals, um, <laughs> look this thing up. Not quite as ambitious and grandiose as their record Knife Man that I reviewed recently and loved the hell out of, but uh, still a great LP and, um, you know, uh, throw up colored splatter swirl vinyl. Just puke. Just puke. But not the music itself. And really wonderful thank yous and everything on the back of the record. Really great album with bold as hell lyrics. I mean, these are bold, bold freaking lyrics on this thing. I mean, they're delivered with a very whiny vocal, and I know that's not going to be everybody's thing, but incredibly bold lyrics. Another record that I trade for, Black Sabbath's uh, Paranoid. Adding to my Black Sabbath vinyl collection. I mean, you have to. People ask me all the time, and I'll say it again. Anthony, how do I get into metal? Listen to Black Sabbath, okay? Listen to their first album. Listen to Paranoid. Listen to Masters of Reality. You really can't go wrong with like their first five LPs. Just listen to any of them. Classics such as Iron Man on this thing, as well as uh, Electric Funeral. War Pigs as well. I mean, you, you and Paranoid, you most likely have heard these songs before, you know? Um, it's just a matter of getting them on record and listening to them deeper and appreciating them. You know, people talk, oh, I'm not into metal, but you know, it's... <laughs> you, you, you can't like a Black Sabbath song? You can't? Like, not even, not even just like a little? Come on. All right, and uh, I will end off with a few seven inches that came by way of uh, classic drug references records, which, uh, you know, they, they sent this uh, interesting little booklet along with it. Um, and this is an interesting collection of seven inches. Uh, weird collaborations or instrumentals from, from various producers um, and MCs on this thing uh, are on this thing as well. Um, you know, if any of this interests you, do look into it. I mean, on one seven inch, we have Blue and Knowledge on one track. On the other side, we have uh, Mike Chav. On another song, we have Danny Brown and Mind Design with Sweeney Song working on this seven inch over here on the other side. Um, and this Danny Brown verse on here was really funny. Um, I was sort of wondering how old it was. Um, but then some people answered me on Twitter, answered me on Instagram, told me. Uh, we have a uh, Quantize with, uh, I believe, is this the... Uh... 
No, that's not the song that I'm thinking of. But we do have us uh, quantize. Oh yes, it is. Quale Chris and Diabase or Debal Device. Sorry, sorry, I'm fucking up names. And then uh, we have Yum Shit with a uh, Raz G and Zero. So you know Raz G, Danny Brown, Blue, and uh, you know Quale Chris, all in this seven inch series. Um, three seven inches all together. It's a pretty cool collection of tracks. Um, there were some sides of these seven inches that I wasn't too hot on, but you know, it is it is sort of uh, cool to have one-off rarity sort of stuff like this. And, uh, and that is this month's vinyl collection. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video about possible record store day pickup soon because that is coming up on the 19th of this month and uh yeah so i mean as soon as record store day is over i failed to do so last year but uh this year i will make sure that i do a, a video where i do a vinyl update and i talk about uh, whatever those record store day pickups were cool cool thank you a million anthony fantano vinyl Follow me on Twitter, at The Needle Drop. Oh, yeah. And I started vining again recently. Yeah, I did. I'm a good guy. Forever.